Well, I'm starting to fill in around the container here a little bit. I plan to build a skeleton on the inside to support the metal on the sides because it'll start caving in if we get too much pressure on it. But I kind of wanted to test a little bit before I do that and see. So I started pushing some dirt in. This is on the end of the container obviously so it's not as long of a span. But I just wanted to see with the dirt here pressured about two thirds of the way up the back wall. I want to go inside and see if it's pressing it in very much. You can kind of look down the edge of it here. It doesn't look like it is, but I just like to see how much they can take as far as pressure pushing in from the outside and probably gauge how strong of a skeleton I need to build on the inside. I don't know if you can hear the thunder, but it's raining and that's one of the delays we've had here to finish up. Haven't gotten more than one or two days in a row without thunderstorms and rain. So we are trying to make some progress. Let's go inside and see if this back wall pushed in at all from this dirt. One good thing with all this rain is we've been able to see how the drainage will work and you can see down the side here too there's actually some pressure from the dirt already on it but I am getting good drainage out from underneath it so water flows out and I'll, I'll plan on continuing to keep this graded out eventually I got to get rid of these mountains of dirt I have other uses for those but um, for right now I want to make sure that it's not just sitting in a puddle so the water's draining through and there is some sand and dirt washing down underneath I'm sorry down the sides and obviously underneath as well but it's kind of hard to see back in here because I haven't gotten electrical yet but I'm going to walk back and see if I can feel the wall pushing in or not Definitely feels more solid. I'm going to get a straight edge and put it against here, but to see if it's bowing. But it may be a little bit. It's not crunching in. I mean, it's kind of got that corrugation stamping on it to help it stay stronger if it's pressed. Anyhow, let me get a straight edge and see. Okay, I was on the inside, put this straight edge four foot level on the wall in various parts on that back wall there. And there was absolutely no bend in it whatsoever. But I noticed something. If you look closely, the metal cuts or the stamping if you call it corrugation or what on this back side are more squarular and deeper than the sides where the sides are kind of wavy obviously it's only a it's a shorter distance across the back here but also the fact that they're they're blocked just look at the shape versus the side to the back and that makes a big difference as far as how rigid that is. And I think it's gonna be fine without reinforcement there. Uh-oh, it's starting to rain more. I'm gonna get inside, but anyhow, I just wanted to update. We are getting it filled in around here. And that was a little detail that I found that may be helpful to know, because I just realized it. Obviously down this side, um, we're going to need to do more reinforcing if we pull put all this dirt back down in there that long run down the side with the less rigid side 
support it's likely to push in. So that's where we're gonna focus the rib cage as well as across the top because I noticed when it was really warm out the other day, it was about 85 degrees, this thing's an oven on the inside. So I'm going to want to get at least a foot or so of dirt on the top of it. Also just so it doesn't look unsightly from the outside. Okay, so this is what we've done on the inside of the shipping container here. Um, just built a interior skeleton or rib cage. We did it out of wood. We have a sawmill, so that was something that we had around. Um, these on the sides are two by six. And so just to help support from the earth pushing it in on the outsides, um, that's what we did there and down deeper here where we're going to have more this this end down here is going to be fully submerged in the earth and probably have a foot or two of earth on top of it so on here I did rather than the two by six these are two by tens um, so I don't know if you can see uh, lighting in here yet, but they blocked out or we blocked out. I had some guys helping me did the framing for me here, but um, so anyways, we got the two by sixes on the sides, uh, two by tens across the top, and then these are two by tens as well, um, kind of like rafters because out here on the edges, that's solid. This is just support because when I walk around up there, this will actually flex down on the ceiling um, without support. So I reinforced that more so down here at the, um, the part that's going to be underground with more earth on top. And it sure does get hot in here we've only had 85 degree days and it is horribly hot so I'm gonna to try to put some dirt on top of all of it but this end down here I'll show you from the outside is coming out of the side of the hill so this end is not gonna be as it won't have as much pressure from the earth and dirt pushing it so I'm just climbing up a little bit here so you can see the uh, the grade so there'll be a little mound kind of over it here and um, still filling in the dirt but actually I only I didn't fill in the dirt on purpose because I wanted to build out the skeleton on the inside first and as I fill it in we'll see if we can um, see how much pressure is pushing in, if these two by six are gonna be sufficient or if we have to go in here and beef these up. So 